overall, everyone, especially at college, wants to talk about the environment and climate change, yet when someone mentions animal agriculture, or aka the elephant in the room, it's a big no. I'm going vegan in college. What, like it's hard? But I prove it, I can conquer anything. So from my head to toe, I'm taking full control. Like college, veganism can be intimidating at first. So I want to share some tips and tricks to going vegan and also staying vegan in college. Or if you're already vegan and in college, you're still going to get a little something out of this video. So keep on watching. <laughs> Educate yourself on veganism. Get a solid understanding as to why you want to go vegan and why veganism is so important. Educate yourself on the ethics, the environmental, and the health aspects of veganism. Sure, you could be a junk food vegan, but still understand where you could get certain nutrients from so that if someone ever asks you, you can tell them. You can help them understand. Or if they're concerned, you can still help them understand that you're getting the nutrients from this source or these sources or whatever it may be so that you don't have to stress about that and you won't run into feeling confused about the lifestyle. And the purpose of diminished capacity is... To negate men's rant. So educate yourself on the dairy industry, the meat industry, the egg industry, the leather industry, etc. to get a solid understanding as to what those animals go through when we purchase products that have an animal product or more in the ingredients. I think it's crucial to understand what the victims go through, not just go vegan for our health, which of course is amazing, but at the same time, if you want to make it a lifestyle and also if you want to stick to it, we have to constantly remind ourselves of the victims so that we have more motivation to do it, especially in a very non-vegan world. It's easy to forget as to why veganism is so important because a lot of these products that we see that our friends are buying who aren't vegan seem very, very harmless because of the packaging and marketing. And also learn how animal products negatively affect fellow humans and the planet that we all share because veganism isn't just about the animals. It's important to know all victims of our consumption and use of animal products. I linked some helpful videos, documentaries, and resources in the description box to help further or start your understanding on the subject. Nothing says college like a little politics. <laughs> out what the dining hall situation is like along with places on campus and around campus that may offer vegan options. And feel free to ask the director of the dining hall along with the places on campus or around campus that offer food if there are any vegan options. Because the more people ask, the more likely the demand will be supplied for what people are asking for. And who knows, there may be a bunch of other people who are asking for vegan options. They may not have vegan options currently, but since the demand for them is so high, they may supply them very, very soon. And it's good to be aware and also voice what you want, especially when you're paying so much money. So don't be scared to ask and communicate what you want. Get in contact with these people regularly, especially if there are no options or if the options are really weak just be in contact with them and make suggestions too especially with like you know the beyond meat burger and the impossible burger and all that kind of stuff that is such a success make some suggestions and show them the proof of all the successful vegan things that are happening around the world who knows you may be the 15th student to ask about vegan options. Another thing that you can mention to the director of your dining hall and other people who are more in control on campus of food options are other colleges that are extremely vegan friendly and are really, really successful at it. I left a link in the description box below to an article that breaks down a bunch of colleges that are extremely vegan friendly and the things that they do that make them vegan friendly. It's so cool, it's a really, really good read. And I know that veganism isn't just about food, but food Food is something that we go through 
really really easily as we have to but like something like clothing or shampoo that's not something we have to purchase daily or even weekly but food is something we have to purchase daily or at least we have to purchase a bunch of to last us throughout the week because we kind of need it several times a day so that's why I'm focusing on food when it comes to college especially because the other things those are simple. Try a vegan cruelty-free shampoo once a month or something like that, but that's not that stressful. You just go to the grocery store, pick it up, and you don't have to think about it for like another month or two. The MU Cafeteria serves a full buffet, three meals a day. I personally believe we have some of the best chefs in the world. College isn't already vegan friendly a positive in that is that you can be the one that can start making that change I mean, I'm pretty sure it's already happening But if you go to a college or if you're going to go to a college that Doesn't have anything vegan. I mean, of course you'll have french fries and you'll have salad stuff, but like <laughs> You know what that especially with how much money you're paying for like say a meal plan or something like that. It's just ridiculous so don't be afraid to ask and you can be the one to make that college more vegan friendly which is so exciting law school it's a perfectly respectable place daddy oh sweetheart you don't need law school going to harvard is the only way i'm gonna get the love of my life back if you're living in a dorm like zoe 101 even though they went to boarding school not college if you're living in a dorm it's so important to have some appliances and tools with you in your dorm. A mini fridge is extremely convenient and also you can control it. The reason why I say that is because you don't have to worry about someone else accidentally eating your food and also if you're in a dorm you can easily just grab something out of the fridge rather than having to go to the residence hall or anything like that. Or maybe if you are living with roommates you can still have a mini fridge and it just makes things so much easier, stress-free. I get anxiety if I share a fridge with someone that isn't fully aware of like <laughs> the food in the fridge. You know what I mean? Like the difference. It just is so stressful. <laughs> I know that's silly, but especially if you're paying for your own food and you're on a budget, there's no messing around with my food. Like I spent money on that and I don't have a lot of money to spend on food, so don't eat it, please. So this way you can control it and it's also just extremely convenient. Also, a rice cooker or an Instapot is amazing if you're living in a dorm because you can cook entire meals, you can simply just cook rice, you can steam vegetables, and you can also even make pasta. Those things are incredible, and it's just one simple, chunky appliance that you can easily store away that is multi and a Nutribullet, I mean coming from me, who has at least one smoothie a day, if you follow me on Instagram and check out my stories, you know what I'm talking about. But a Nutribullet is so important if you are, I mean, just in general, get a blender. But especially if you're in a dorm, a Nutribullet is so amazing because they're so compact yet extremely powerful to the point where you don't have to worry about like a crappy blender where if you're blending up some greens, there's bits of kale or spinach in there. Like you don't want chunks of greens floating around in your smoothie. As well as if you're going to be blending frozen fruit, a Nutribullet is amazing for that. It won't break down because you have a few frozen bananas and frozen strawberries. It will fully blend. And then also you have like the cup itself. It's like a single serving, even though for me that's like one fourth of a serving for a smoothie but it's perfect, especially if you're in college. Other tools that are helpful are a cutting board, a good set of sharp knives, not to just defend yourself on campus if you ever need to. Hello, Scream Queens, I love you. Why did you get canceled? But also, you don't wanna be trying to cut a tomato and it not cut because the knife is just the slightest bit of dull. And that's frustrating because you don't really want to be stressed about a tomato not being able to cut, especially in college. So that's important along with a colander and a water bottle and probably some other things. But those are the main ones that I would say that you definitely should have on hand, especially if you're in a dorm. Or if you're in Scream Queens, you live in a cute little sorority that's really, really nice and pretty, kind of scary. Um, but super fun, because you're in Scream Queen. Welcome to college. Yeah. Pop up here. Shower cat. Hot plate. Eating back chair. Three shower poofs. 
some baking machine that my mom got me. And definitely take advantage of your residence hall if you're in a dorm, because most likely a lot of people are not in there. No one is really using it, yet everyone is paying for it. You're paying for it, so you might as well take advantage of it. Just go in there once a week for a few hours or even just an hour and prepare some baked potatoes for the week. Meal prep a little bit. Just have fun with it. Make cookies. I love making cookies. I have to do it several times a week. So you got to do it at least once a week. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing, but it can also be therapeutic and take your mind off of things and things are getting stressful in college and um, it's fine and you get cookies out of it that you made. So you know they're healthy. Well, hopefully if you follow along with my recipes that I'll link in the description box below. But um, yeah, take advantage of what you're paying for. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get out of here. Oh, here, let me help you pack. Dad, I can do that. Well, sure hope so. I'm not gonna be there at college to pick up after you. Figure out your staple meals and snacks. Of course, I'm gonna suggest to keep it simple and healthy. The reason why I say to keep it simple is because you don't wanna be focused on your food. That's not where you want your energy and time to go towards because you're going to school and you want to be focusing on what you're spending a lot of money on and also what you want to do in life that's so important and there was a reason why steve jobs wore the same outfit every single day so that way your mental clarity is it clouded up with stressing about what you're gonna eat or running out of all these ingredients because you want to make all these chaotic things which are fun maybe do that once a week but for the majority of your school day keep it simple if you want to but that's what i suggest and also of course i suggest to keep it healthy because you don't want to be feeling sluggish you want to be feeling your best you want your body and your mind to be performing at its very best so that you can get the most out of your education and the time being spent on it and also you get to worry less about your health because you're treating food as fuel and medicine rather than entertainment keep it as healthy and as simple as possible and that way when you go out with your friends and you guys get some treats you get some vegan pizza vegan ice cream you feel less guilty about it and you can enjoy them more because it's more for a special occasion rather than it's just the regular for you because in the long run you're gonna thank yourself your health is gonna thank you and also you're not running up your credit card bill aka your health which you're gonna have to pay for later on in life and that's not fun especially if you're working really, really hard right now and you have a career while well, you're studying to have a career and you want to have a very, very fulfilled life without any distractions of health problems. I mean, you may live a long life, but I mean, you may also suffer from a lot of health problems, even though you can still be a junk food vegan and suffer from health problems. I get it. And you're still ethical and you're still vegan and there's nothing wrong with that. That's amazing. But if you want to get the most out of your body and your mind, eat healthy and feed it what it needs to be fed as opposed to feeding viruses and pathogens in your body which will slow you down and cause some problems down the road which is not fun i mean i don't want that and i don't want that for you and i hope that you don't want that for yourself either what's up college what's up bro fuck high school right fuck yeah. high school oh so tight oh this, this is, is so baller and it's helpful to have a meal plan either created by yourself or curated by me specifically for you guys who are college students and that will be listed and linked in the description box below so that you don't have to think about it you can just buy it there's a grocery list in there with more tips and tricks and of course there's meal plans so that you can just follow along or get inspired focus on what you need to focus on because I've got you covered Harvard Law School that's right. But that's a top three school. Oh, I have a 4.0. Find like-minded people, which I know that this is pretty much standard in college, but specifically find people who are vegan, vegetarian, or open to it so that you feel less alone. A lot of colleges actually already do have vegan and or vegetarian groups, but if yours doesn't, that gives you an opportunity to be the first one to start one, which I think is so exciting. It'll teach you leadership skills, which I hear Harvard loves. And you'll get a group of people who understand why you're vegan. They're not going to be constantly trying to debate you as to why you're vegan. And also, they won't be trying to justify their consumption of animal products, aka trying to justify animal cruelty. 
so you don't have to deal with that with them, which is so nice. And you'll get a group of people who you can go see movies with, have documentary night with, you can have potlucks with, you can go to a vegan restaurant with them or go to a non-vegan restaurant that has vegan options and support those vegan options. And you guys can do activism. There are so many opportunities for you guys to get together and do things so that you have that group at college, which I think is so important, especially in such a non-vegan world that we live in. It's nice to be reminded that we're not crazy for not wanting to consume animals and their flesh. And overall, just encourage each other and start a movement on campus. After all, everyone wants to talk about climate change and the environment, especially in college, yet when someone mentions animal agriculture, aka the elephant in the room, it's a big no. I don't know what's up with that, especially with college. Everyone's like, I'm so woke. But then when you mention animal agriculture, they leave the room or just get really mad. <laughs> the last tip but along with finding real life <laughs> vegans vegetarians or people who are open to it join vegan college student groups on Facebook along with any social media platforms that you use find vegan college students who are on there and follow them so that it makes you feel sane and confident in a very non vegan world where it's easy to kind of distance yourself from it because you're surrounded by so much non-veganness because after all veganism is the moral baseline and it's really really good to be reminded of that feet, scary feet scary feet the kids in the bathroom scary feet scary feet scary feet who's back so proud and excited of my first mm. ebook which like I mentioned earlier is centered around being vegan in college but if you do need a little more one-on-one -on -one help I do offer private online vegan coaching which is more catered towards you and your goals specifically and I'm actually currently coaching a college student who's making the vegan transition I'm so proud of them they're doing amazingly and it's so much fun you're definitely going to be vegan at the end of the month and stay vegan i just love coaching people i love coaching you guys it's so much fun and also this ebook is packed and i loved working on it so i know that you're gonna find it helpful and you're going to love it so if you're interested in the ebook and or coaching those will be linked in the description box below i hope you found this video helpful and got some tips and tricks from it if you have any tips of your own to add please leave them in the comments below so we can help one another and do the best that we can in college which is everything making life easier and also doing what we want to do if you want to go vegan you can do it i want to help you and i hope other people in the comments want to help you as well i know there's gonna be some good tips in there that i didn't even think of oh, hi my name is l woods and for my admissions essay i'm gonna tell all of you at harvard why i'm gonna make an amazing lawyer and lastly i have to know if you are in college or if you've already graduated how vegan friendly is your college after all everyone wants to talk about climate change and the environment yet when someone mentions animal agriculture aka the elephant in the room it's a big no okay what's up with that that's like a big thing and especially everyone in college is like woke yet they can't talk about the elephant in the room <laughs> this is one of the no. best scenes in filmmaking history i totally forgot you go here well, what are you talking about where is that Warner actor now? <laughs> what? Like it's hard? I bet you don't think I can make it.